Hey, 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 what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we're going to be reviewing Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Now, I just watched this film yesterday in the theaters and I gotta tell you, it was actually pretty good. And I know that Marvel's not really in its best right now ever since um, Endgame, but anyway... I decided to uh, do this movie review is because I wanted some more ideas for some more movie reviews. Especially for some new ones coming out real soon. So that's why I decided to do Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. <laughs> yeah, anyway, before this video starts, here are some few things you gotta do. This may contain some spoilers, so don't watch this yet. Unless if you want to see any spoilers. But I refer... Request you don't watch this at least until uh, you watch this film. So this may contain a little bit of spoilers. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Also, of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow this video. You know, and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for some more. <laughs> I said subscribe twice. Anyway, let's get started. After the events of Endgame, Ant-Man or Scott Lane had been uh, living out in the easy life, well, except when his daughter was uh, arrested for his thievery or theft. I don't know what it's really called. But, that uh, while back to the uh, Pym house where uh, they were having dinner, they showed you know, Scott and uh, Janet what they didn't really know is, is that they were trying to uh, build a uh, gateway to the quantum realm. You know, but, after Janet freaked out and tried to shut it down, it wasn't a it wasn't a huge success. Instead, it opened up to the quantum realm, or at least what they think it is, and they found out that there's a, a hidden universe beneath he, this universe. So at that, they had to uh, find a way home. But what they didn't know is that the uh, quantum realm has been conquered by Kang the Conqueror. <laughs> And he's not alone. About five years ago, Darren, which uh, I almost forgot he uh, died in a first Ant-Man movie, is in the quantum realm. However, due to the fact that he shrunk super small, all but his head was still big, he became a uh, a new sort type of type of a villain, a mechanical organism designed of killing or Modok. Yeah, that's something like a uh, verse. I didn't really know what Modog really meant in uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But anyway, he plotted to like get revenge on uh, Ant-Man and for banishing him to the uh, Quantum Realm. Along with uh, helping King the Conqueror, who was banished by, by the uh, other Conquerors because he was mostly feared for erasing many timelines. Lines. So he tried to like try to uh, get back to the uh, his own world by tricking Janet that he was actually a nice guy. But when Janet found out, how she uh, managed to like stop him by uh, growing up the uh, super giant uh, in core to the uh, uh, to the uh, area where he was uh, banished from. So with that, Kang decided to like you use the quantum realm and conquer it to build his own empire. So, with that, it was up for one new mission. Please don't mind the uh, blurriness, but their new mission is to stop Kang from preventing from escaping the quantum realm. It wasn't easy, but... With the help of the super intelligent ants that uh, actually came into the quantum realm, and with the inspiration of Cassie to like help the uh, Freedom Fighters fight back for the quantum realm, they managed to stop King the Conqueror in time. Oops, I almost forgot one thing. After uh, Modoc was seeing the uh, wrong ways of what King the Conqueror has been doing, he redeemed and uh, prevent uh, the uh, catastrophe of uh, Kane to like kill, kill the uh, Ant-Man family by uh, sacrificing himself and not being called a rank. That word isn't really allowed in this channel because this is a family friendly. Yeah, I know it's a PG-13, but anyway, he sacrificed himself to save the Ant-Man family just in time. Sorry about that. I just want to uh, say that before I would get any confusions of what really happened to Modoc. Okay, back to the review. This time, I'm talking about King anyway. 
and he might be dead because he was accidentally sucked into the core? Or is he dead? Who knows? After that, everything was back to normal again. Or is that what it seems? Because in the ending credit scenes, there are a lot more Kane the Conquerors and they have one goal. To avenge the original Kane the Conqueror. Or to like stop the, uh, the uh, collision of uh, madness around the multiverse. That is what... One thing that might happen very soon, next time on Avengers, either on the Kane Dynasty or Secret Wars. So we'll have to uh, wait and see what happens next. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is a, a, a short review, but like I stated before, I just watched this film and there might be some few spoilers, so uh, if you don't want... I don't want to watch this video yet. I rather uh, you wait, wait until you at least watch the film. But in the meantime, stay tuned for some more videos coming up real soon. Make sure you subscribe because I'm on a road to 1,000 subscribers. Give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. The link's down below in the description. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, BDH. But I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero. That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is... Subscribe! Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video. So thanks for watching, and have a brick day! Whoosh.